PM junction diode conduction. Here for the PM junction diode conduction, it will conduct only in forward bias. The component here we are using is regulator power supply, ammeter, voltmeter and the breadboard is used for all the components to connect and the resistor and PN junction diode. With the, all the components are connected by using this uh, connecting wires. With the help of the circuit diagram we are going to connect. So first of all we are going to see the connections of the circuit diagram. The RPS of the positive terminal is connected to the resistor. The negative terminal of the resistor is connected to the positive of the ammeter. The negative of the ammeter is connected to the PN junction diode. Then the positive terminal of the ammeter is connected across the voltmeter. And the negative terminal of the PN junction diode is connected to the volt, negative of the voltmeter. The negative of the voltmeter and PN junction diode is connected to the negative of the RPS. RPS regulate that is the regulator power supply. As per the circuit diagram, its connections are given. That is the positive terminal is connected to the resistor. Here the resistor, this is the resistor. We have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. So the positive of the RPS is connected to the, this red wire indicates and it is connected to the resistor and the negative terminal is connected to the ammeter, right. The negative of the ammeter is connected to the PN junction diode. Then the negative of the PN junction diode is connected across the uh, negative of the RPS as well as the negative of the voltmeter. So the PN junction diode is connected across the voltmeter. All the negative terminals of voltmeter PN junction is connected to the regulator power supply. As per the circuit diagram, the connections are given. Now we are going to switch on the supply. So the uh, circuit diagram is connected across uh, with the help of this circuit diagram we are given the connections. Now we switch on this regulator power supply just we are getting the supply here so we are increasing the voltage to 1 so we have to note the corresponding so we are increasing the voltage as to the 1 the corresponding 0 0.1 the corresponding ammeter and voltmeter rises little bit right similarly we have to increase the certain voltages in the uh, regulator power supply the voltmeter reading and ammeter readings are noted Likewise, we have to we have to raise the RPS value to gradual certain values. The corresponding ammeter and voltmeter readings are noted. Likewise, already I have noted the uh, regulator supply it is 0 0.1, the voltmeter reading is 0 0.1, the current rating is 0. Similarly, it is 2, the corresponding re uh, voltage rating is 0 0.2 and 0. Similarly, with a different set of RPS value, we are noting down the values of voltage and ammeter. Then for reverse bias, okay, we are going to see for reverse bias, we have to change, just we have to switch off this power supply, then we have to change the Z node, we have to change the PN junction diode, we have to reverse its voltage. Just the polarity is changed and it is given in the breadboard. Again, we have to switch on the supply. Similarly, from initial value, right, from initial value it is 0.1 we set at an RPS, the corresponding ammeter value and voltmeter value is noted and we have to increase the RPS value to certain 2, the corresponding ammeter and voltmeter values is noted. Likewise, we have to increase to 4 and 5 and corresponding voltmeter and ammeter values are noted. So, just we are noting all these values here it is the correspond the variation of uh, rps values is noted with the corresponding voltmeter and ammeter values so we can note that after 5 the values of the voltage is constant so it is noted that the reverse bias is not conducting in the pn junction diode thank you